Hi, I'm Jason McDonald. I'm the service manager of Fred's Place here at St Vincent de Paul. I just want to start by telling you a little bit of the history of Fred's Place and how it came about. Fred's Place was developed and opened in June 2013 as a result of a long-term need for a drop-in centre, intervention centre for homeless people in this region. St Vincent de Paul decided that they would completely open it by themselves and fund it 100% and I think the surprising thing from June 2013 to now for us has been I guess how incredibly busy we become really really quickly. We knew there was a need in this region however having opened and started we quickly realised that the need was enormous and um, I'm really proud of what we've achieved over the last three and a half years. Last year we had over 12,000 accesses for service. From that we were able to case manage 525 people, resulting in 250 people being housed. Also from a volunteer's perspective and a student placement perspective, I'm really proud of what we've done there as well. We were able to provide um, over 11,000 hours of volunteer and student placement work last year. We take approximately 80 students on placement a year. Um, which is really interesting, fun, frustrating, everything that goes with that, but we can't function without them. Being a self-funded service, we need our volunteers and we need students and without them, Fred's Place doesn't exist. Well, um, we're really close-knit group. I can't think of anyone that works at Fred's Place that doesn't have a pretty big personality and I think that that's really fantastic. We need to work closely and we need to have a lot of trust in each other because we work alongside each other. Jason gives us a lot of autonomy to do our work and to help our clients and there needs to be trust between us, you know, so that everyone knows the clients are getting the best service that they possibly can. It's a great cross-section that comes through Fred's. It could be uh, a single woman with a family running from domestic violence or someone who's lived on the street for most of their life. Or again too, it could be somebody who has just made some really bad choices in their lives and have needed help. Is there a typical day at Fred's place? Probably not. <laughs> You know, it can be anything that happens. There is no typical day at Fred's Place. When we open at 9, we never know exactly who's coming. Nobody needs to make an appointment. They can turn up whenever they want to and ask us for any kind of support that they need and we try and help them get resolution to whatever their concerns are based on their priority. So we don't really set an agenda or assume what other people need. We wait for them to tell us what they need. We have a variety of long-term clients and new clients, so there's no predictability. You can get someone walking through the door with an incredibly complex case and we just need to think on our feet and try and sort it out for them. It's usually pretty busy when we first arrive. We, they come through and they get their breakfast and grab a tea and coffee because they might not have had anything since the night beforehand so it's just something nice and warm for them as well and then they usually just go outside and get in the sun and have something to eat and have a chat around with everybody and if anyone requires anything they're very open and they'll come and ask for help or help for assistance. It gives the homeless people a place to socialise. They can commune together, they can have a chat out the back and be social just as you or I can be at a coffee shop but they get to do it at friends place. I'd like to be able to see Fred's place expand and offer a little more housing and, and case management to, to some of our people who have been coming for a real long time. There are many, many towns and sort of um, areas that would require a Fred's Place. St Vincent de Paul at the moment is, is who funds Fred's Place. They're expensive to set up. We would like to open them in every town. 
However, you know, finance is always an issue. We have some plans about some of the amazing casework that we've done, being able to create hybrid models and use that throughout different regions, maybe in existing buildings and things like that. I can certainly say we are planning for the future. The thing is that, that I've got to remember all the time is that you know a lot of the people that, that come through here have had jobs just like me or anyone else and they've made some really bad choices. It's about helping them get back on their feet if they want that help. It's just a place where, where people can be them and not be judged for who they are. It's a great organisation and I really think that everyone should get behind it. There's not many organisations out there like this at all and it really is a great organisation so please do give as much as you can. Fred's Place is a fantastic service and we are limited in what we can do by how much support we have. So please support us. Please help us do more. And if you want to get involved, please, please come and see us and get involved. Mm -hmm.